Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. Silent Knight here, and today I will be showing you how to set up a very basic default vanilla Minecraft server. So this is actually fairly, fairly simple. First you want to go to Minecraft.net. You want to have to go and get the actual jar, or now the XE for launching the uh, server itself. Uh, you'll download now. If you have to, sign in. Uh, download now. And under multiplayer server, you're going to want to, if you're running out of Windows and you just want to set up the server easily, this is going to be your option. You're just going to click Minecraft ser or Minecraft Server XE, EXE, and then you want to download that. And then once you have that download, you're going to want to find that in your downloads folder, and you want to put that in whatever folder you would like to actually create the server files in. So I just have inside of my work folder and in my how to vids folder, I just put it here. So we're going to want to delete all this uh, for example purposes. Uh, try again. Oh, sorry, we have this running. So we're going to delete all this off. Cancel. So basically, once you've found the server, you want to actually have the server, and I'd probably like maybe on your desktop have a Minecraft server folder. Place your the exe in there, and then this. Then all you have to do is double click, and then what this will do is it'll boot up the server, um, for server version, all that. It'll prepare the spawn if it needs to. Yada yada yada. And again, this is non bucket, non feed the beast. This is just flat vanilla basic Minecraft. It should generate all the files that you should need: band servers, man IP, OP server information, ser server dot properties, whitelist, etc., etc., and your world folder, which has all your other information in it, all the chunks and player data. And once that's all generated, you'll have this um, Minecraft server exe running. This is your console, basically, where you can put in commands here list players you know gives give player items yada 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 that's where we put it all in the commands you'll see all that stuff here and if you see here um, then you can go and connect to the server to connect to the server um, if it's running off of your machine you can go into direct connect or you can add server um, but the, you can use localhost you can see yeah, server address is localhost if it is on your machine you can do this join server and you should be able to join right into the server. Mine will fail, however, because I have the outdated client. I'm running at 1.4.7 with my Feed the Beast, so I can't actually connect. But um, this, if I were on 1.5.1 Minecraft, localhost would directly connect me into the server. Otherwise, to have other people um, to have other people connect to your server, you can sit, uh, and all you need to do is give them the IP, the IP of your computer. And to do that, all you have to do is go to Google. And, and type in anything like what is my IP or what is my IP dot org. Um, that is my IP generally, and then you can Google search it. And then uh, the first one should be like what is my IP dot org or what is my IP dot com. You click that, and it should just blatantly tell you your IP address is, and then just give that directly to the give it to whoever your friends or whoever you want to play. Give that IP to them, and they should be able to directly connect onto your server. And that, guys, is really simple and that's pretty much how you set up a really basic vanilla minecraft server alright i hope this helped you guys and uh, until next time you guys take her easy